Hi there, welcome back to another Crypto Day video. It's Friday, which means another crypto interest rates and news update. This is for the 18th of September, 2020. And as always, we'll start by going through any uh, new coins or um, rating, uh, rate changes, anything like that across the platforms that we are monitoring. As always, links to uh, both this spreadsheet, this Google sheet, and all the stories we cover will be in the description below. Uh, and just a couple of changes this week. Uh, firstly, Tron on uh, Nexo. Now, I don't know if this is a, a new listen or just one that I, I completely missed and haven't um, and, and haven't noticed until now, but I noticed that kind of Tron is available on kind of Nexo. It's the only platform uh, currently that it is available on a uh, 4% uh, uh, base level or 5% if you own 10% of your uh, wallet worth in Nexo uh, tokens. Uh, the other change this week, and we'll talk about this a little bit later, is uh, a new stablecoin. So um, HUSD available also on Nexo. And uh, again, it's the only platform out of these five that's actually uh, available on. So uh, nice to see that uh, added. As always, uh, any issues, uh, let me know in the comments or send me an email, Crypto Dave UK at uh, gmail.com but it's been um, a, quite a quiet week apart from that uh, no new coin announcements or rate changes uh, for the other platforms uh, we monitor and then moving on to the tokens it's been a pretty decent week um, in general. Crypto.com up almost 10% over the week. Celsius over 20% up. And that's backing up a really good week last week as well. So um, some fantastic changes for both uh, Crypto.com and Celsius Network. Nexo, poor old Nexo, uh, continues to slide down another 9% uh, this last week. Um, apart from that kind of pump up before the... Um, the dividend kind of announcement, the ex-dividend date, uh, it's really kind of like plummeted since then, down a substantial amount. Um, I think it's probably quite a few uh, slightly unhappy uh, Nexo token holders. But um, uh, if you're interested in the kind of long term, obviously um, that enables you to earn dividends. Uh, I think that's a six monthly dividend uh, for Nexo. But uh, Celsius, nice to see them um, having a good few weeks, up 20% as I mentioned. Um, and that was on top of probably a similar amount um, last week as well. Crypto.com up just under 10%. Um, now, lots of stories to uh, go over this week. Uh, most of them Crypto.com related. Lots and lots of stuff happening over there. Uh, firstly, I got an email just before I did this video today um, to announce that a Wirecard as the card provider in the UK and EU is being replaced by um, Payonet uh, Limited. I don't know a lot about them, but that will be replacing a Wirecard in the UK and EU. Apparently the exchange or the swap should be done by the 17th of November, I believe it was. Um, so in the next couple of months, um, and there, there's no um, there's no issues. There's nothing for you to do if you already own a card or if you've got a card uh, on the way. No changes and and nothing for you to kind of do. This will be entirely a back kind of end uh, uh, back end kind of change. But with all the issues uh, that happened with kind of wire card and the pausing of the card and stuff like that a couple of months ago, um, they are now moving over to Payonet uh, Limited. Uh, so look out for the email if you have a card. They will. Be emailing you and that should be in your inbox but uh yeah no uh no changes and nothing uh for you to do um next uh with crypto.com so stop loss and stop limit um has been added to the exchange it putting a lot of effort into the exchange at the moment um it's obviously um a really big kind of project for them at crypto.com um nice to see new features being added to kind of the exchange it was quite um it was quite basic when it first went live it's now out of beta so it really um uh, needs to have some of these kind of additional kind of functionality so uh, stop loss and stop limits are now being added to the crypto.com exchange which is nice apologies for that banging outside i think some building work uh, nearby um, and then moving on, uh, Crypto.com are listing uh, Uniswap on the app. So this is an app listing. So Uniswap, this is really quick actually because it only um, uh, came out like a day or two ago and they are uh, immediately kind of listing that. Um, in addition to that, they're actually uh, listing uh, wrapped Bitcoin as well. That's not in this uh, update, but um, a new listing for Uni on the Crypto.com app. And that means basically you can um, purchase uh, and sell uh, through the kind of app. Um, which is really kind of nice now. Um, I don't think the um, the rates that you get are actually particularly favorable on the app, um, but they are waiving um, in a lot of uh, territories, waiving the credit card and debit card kind of fees for kind of purchases. Um, so uh, always uh, keep an eye on kind of what you're actually kind of getting in terms of kind of exchange rates, and um, because I don't think they're necessarily the most competitive on crypto.com, but if you're looking to buy a uni, it is now one of the uh, places you can, along with kind of stuff like kind of Binance. Um, 
the next news, and this is uh, something I haven't had an opportunity to take a real deep dive into yet, but um, uh, really interesting to see this. So they've launched uh, DeFi Swap. So um, this is uh, basically uh, a new wallet. Now, this is very different from the app in that you will hold your keys, your private keys to all the coins in this. And it's a place where you can uh, basically kind of trade or swap um, uh, and also farm DeFi coins. So uh, I believe this is a hard fork of Uniswap, but it launched this week. Um, and they're paying out various um, additional kind of like kind of bonuses and stuff like that in CRO tokens. So um, something else they're adding on to the C sort of CRO portfolio to try and uh, drive adoption of it. Now, um, from reading their kind of subreddit, they were having some issues uh, certainly at the beginning of this week um, with payouts. People were kind of missing payouts and stuff like that. So um, if it's something that you are interested in, uh, let me know in the comments below, and I will do a deep dive into uh, the Crypto.com DeFi swap. I may well do a video on it um, anyway, but. Uh, if you are interested, uh, do let me know uh, in the comments below and I'll uh, try and get that done uh, sooner rather than later. And if you're interested a little bit about it, it's uh, listed on now on the website. Um, it's the bottom of the kind of homepage, but um, also in this um, uh, this specific page. So you've got some information about it. And there's also, I'll, I'll link these as always in the description, Always uh, also this really interesting kind of FAQ. Uh, so this is in the help section, but there's um, lots of really interesting um, information, how you connect the wallets, um, swapping, pooling and boosting and stuff like that. So um, uh, really interesting um, stuff for crypto.com. I think this could be quite a big, uh, a big kind of market for them uh, going forward. Uh, and then uh, finally on the crypto.com front, um, the syndicate. So Maker is gonna be the next syndicate event. And uh, now I mentioned this last week, uh, apologies, um, when I mentioned it last week, I thought it was actually going to be uh, carried out this week. Uh, this week, I didn't actually uh, take a look at how long it would be, but it's actually going to be next week. So um, after the BTC special event, um, there was or there will be a two week um, kind of pause before the next event, before this maker event. But this will happen uh, next Tuesday morning uh, as usual. Um, as I've mentioned before, I'm not actually gonna be participating in any more of the syndicate events uh, as I'm not um, meeting now the trading uh, volumes that they uh, require and I'm not really interested in uh, running any more of those. But if you're interested, uh, maker uh, will be the next syndicate event starting next Tuesday. And then finally, um, I mentioned kind of Tron earlier, but um, HUSD. So this is the new listing on Nexo Stablecoin, and this is the Huabi. Um, I think I've always struggled to pronounce that, but that's the Huabi or Huabi. Um, uh, global uh, stable coins. So um, uh, this is now listed on Nexo. Now Nexo obviously have a tie up um, uh, with Huabi Global. Um, so nice to see them kind of listing uh, this stable coin. Um, the more stable coin options I think kind of available, uh, the better for people. And this will be available both in interest. So that's 8% standard, 10% if you own 10% of Nexo tokens and also will be available for their uh, crypto loans, what they call crypto uh, instant credit lines. So um, that's it for uh, this week. Uh, as I mentioned, lots and lots of crypto.com stuff uh, this week. Uh, I'll be taking a bit of a dive into some of these features, particularly the DeFi stuff. So there's some really interesting stuff going on there. Um, uh, with some quite large boosts if you're willing to lock up your CRO for a substantial kind of period of time. So uh, I'll be going through all the kind of feedback that people will be having, um, seeing if they've ironed out some of those um, early kind of issues with kind of pounds and stuff like that. But um, uh, yeah, really interesting in taking a bit of a, a bigger look into that uh, in the coming weeks. Uh, thanks very much for watching. As always, I hope you're all um, doing well, keeping safe and well. Um, as I said, thanks very much for watching. Hopefully I'll see you on the next video. But until then, have a great day. Bye bye.